Welcome back to Arise Exchange. The Federal Reserve's two-day monetary policy meeting kicks off today. In discussion, when to raise interest rates. Joining us with more on a possible rate hike is Omar Brown, Managing Director at Red Tail Capital Markets. Welcome to the exchange. You know, I, I got to tell you, interest rates, that's been something that I always think about a lot. They're very low right now. And as far as homeowners are concerned, it's good. But the other thing is the banks really have not been giving out those mortgages. That's true. Banks have not been giving out the mortgages the way everyone would like them to give out mortgages. But the underlying issue is that uh, the, the interest in the mortgages is really dependent upon the, the ability for the, the ultimate homeowner to afford those mortgages. Mm -hmm. Right. So in, in that we have a greater interest in society to have more more home, home ownership. Um, the issue that really needs to be addressed is at where has this pendulum swung for, for banks and financial institutions to begin to deliver more of those mortgages that have ultimately caused the financial crisis? And well, exactly. And that's, you bring a really good point there, Omar. I guess the question here is you've got two things. Um, housing is, is up right now. What will happen, say, if, if Janet Yellen decides to raise the rates? Will that just turn everything all upside down? I don't think we're going to see the markets turn upside down the way they did two years ago when there was a first whiff of an increase in rates that sent the long-term rates um, backing up about 100, 100 basis points. I think in this instance, the, the measured approach that we've had to monetary policy, mm -hmm. albeit we're, ex we're expecting rates to rise but sometime between June and December, the fact that the, the expectations have been managed to such a high degree. Uh, we look at the impact at, at the long end, which is 10 years and 30 years, which is where the mortgage rates are going to be driven mm -hmm. by those levels. The 10-year and the 30-year rates are not necessarily going to be moving dramatically with the measured approach that the Fed is going to have towards raising interest rates. Okay. You talk about the long term, looking down the road a decade or more from now, and the short term in terms of these rates being raised. Everybody seems to believe at this point, I'm, I'm sure you do too, that the rates will go up. If that is the case, Omar, what will that do for the economy, present tense? Well, the good thing that it was, it's going to do for the economy is it's going, to, it's going to lend credibility to the performance of our economy. Right. So far, we've, had to, we've, we've been giving, infusing a great deal of, of financial stimulus into the economy. We've had low rates down here at, at zero to a quarter of a percent for the, for the past seven years. And we've had three rounds of qualitative easing. But now, as we loosen up the monetary policy, we're going to be able to restrain the growth that has already begun to seep into the economy. If you look at the amount of issuance that corporate America has been been taking out of the marketplace. They've been going out the first quarter of the year, corporations were issuing a great deal of debt in, to raise capital. And they're raising capital for general corporate purposes. They've been raising capital to return capital to investors. But when, when they begin to raise rates, that's going to send a level of confidence to corporate America that the market is now kicking into overdrive. They're going to be able to spend more on infrastructure. They're going to be able to spend more on hiring. And that will ultimately lead to a better job profile than what we have have right now that is uh, that was reflective of today's numbers on on consumer confidence which was driven down by you know, poor poor profiles for what the average American expects out of the unemployment for the next six months okay that sounds pretty good I, I'm liking you so far Omar on this it sounds good but we've had a seesaw market to a certain extent right now it's been kind of a roller coaster somewhat and people are talking about a correction if the rates go up how will that affect the market well Rates going up is not necessarily going to send the market lower. Rates going up are going to provide uh, the control for the asset prices that we have throughout the economy to keep from bubbling over. So right now we do we have had very sustained period of very low inflation, mm -hmm. and that has been a great benefit to to many members of society. But the issue is we don't want prices to start to decline, and so we've kept prices we've kept rates very low to to ward off deflation. But if, when we start to raise rates, that's going to be an indicator that we're worried about price increases and we're going to rein those in to keep the economy moving in a steady, in a steady pace. Okay, the information you've given us, I think I'll sleep good tonight. Omar Brown, thank you so very much for joining us today on Arise Exchange. Okay, thank you very much for having me. All right.